What is going on guys, Mike Deck is here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a VGC 2012 battle that I had against Smogonite the American Dream. Uh, this is at the Apex Tournament, which was really cool. And uh, before I get started, I'm just going to quickly explain what VGC 2012 is, for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's a double battle, you get six guys, but you got to choose only four. Flat battle, which means it's level 50. And level 50, level cap, and uh, item claws. So it gets very complicated. Teams become very innovative. And the band list is different too. Um, it's not like Smogon's bands. Basically, there's no there's no legendaries and uh, no curum. Yes. But uh, so let's get started. Looking at his, his team, he was running uh, Kiara, Eska, Porygon 2, Ferrothorn, Tyranitar, and Cresselia. I decided to lead off a Tyranitar and Heatran, thinking maybe it was the best combination to go against his team, thinking maybe he started off with Ferrothorn, and um, I'm not too sure, but he actually reads me very very nicely and starts with two things that work perfectly against my two things. Uh, so I'll talk with Excadrill and, uh, and Gyarados. So... Immediately off the bat, I'm thinking I have to protect with Heatran because he's probably going to double attack my Heatran with Gyarados and uh, Excadrill. And uh, here I was thinking maybe he would go for a Rock Slide for some reason and try to just do some extra damage, breaking the balloon and possibly killing with Waterfall. But uh, he decides to just protect with Excadrill and that reveals my counter, which um, really stinks because that's basically my trick with the Tyranitar that most common Tyranitars don't carry. But here he's going to go for a Rock Slide, and I can't go for Counter because I decided to go for the um, Lava Plume this turn. And uh, if, I ca if I use Counter, uh, since Heatran is slowest on, on the field, Lava Plume will negate the physical damage done by Excadrill, so I cannot go for Counter. I decided to go for a Rock Slide, and unfortunately I burn myself with my own Lava Plume. But luckily, I also burn his Gyarados. So, lose, lose situation the fact that I also get flinched. I can't get any more damage on his... Uh, Gyarados, which really sucks, but uh, luckily it is crippled by the fact that it's now burned. We will not be doing too much damage. I'm gonna go for a protect because I can, and um, I basically just want to leave in Heatran. I don't want to bring in two of my last guys, so he can. He doesn't really get a permanent idea of what my two last are. But I am. Gonna, he is gonna take out my Tyranitar with the Earthquake, and um, I am not in a good position right now. But of course, luckily I can now bring in my um, Excadrill, who is threatening for the rest of his team, and, um, for, hopefully, I think, and, uh, I know, I have a feeling he's gonna protect this turn, because he protected the past few turns, and, uh, I'm gonna go for a rock slide now, hitting the, uh, Gyarados, and, um, it's gonna take it out, and I'm gonna go for an Earth Power, it's basically just because I have to, and that's basically the scenario that happens. Brings out Ferrothorn, which is great, now I can go for Protect on my Heatran, and I can take out his Extra Drill, hopefully, but not losing his speed tie, but he ends up telling me that his, he doesn't actually run max speed, he runs enough speed to outspeed Choice Scarf Terrakion, I believe he said. So that's good, he takes out takes out the Excadrill, and uh, while I believe that, you know, max speed, well, max speed's not that important, um, in certain cases, it's really, really necessary, like, there, in order to beat other Excadrill. I actually run Adamant max speed, uh, not Jolly, because no one runs Jolly in VGC. So, pretty safe scenario. Uh, out comes Porygon 2. I decided to protect with uh, Broken Mole, thinking maybe he would... Uh, I could try to get a Lava Plume off, but he's just going to kill me off with a Thunderbolt, which uh, actually is pretty good, because most uh, most uh, Porygon 2s, more Porygon Zs, are Scarfed, meaning I can easily just bring in my Gliscor now, and uh, he can't do it. He can't touch my last two guys. He's got Ferrothorn, but um, unfortunately, because... Because my Heatran is dead, it's going to be really tough to take out this Ferrothorn. It's, uh, Ferrothorn is very notoriously bulky, and uh, at this point, though, I can just go into Gliscor, and I'm going to set up a sub. I am not Toxic Orb, unlike, uh, unlike most Gliscor in VGC, I'm actually Sandvale Acro, because Sandvale's a bitch, and it saves, it saves a bunch of times. Uh, but now, I'm just going to go for an EQ. On. I'm just going to keep spamming EQ until I die, basically just like get as much damage on Ferrothorn as possible. I have not seen Protect at this point, which really would have probably changed the way I did my attacks. Um, I am now just going to... He's just going to uh, 
Gyro Ball. I'm an Acrobatic. It's going to do the combined attacks of Gliscor and Excadrill are going to do a ton, leaving him at a point where I'm like, okay, I can easily just take him out next turn. But unfortunately, at this point, he is going to protect. And if I had subbed, I probably on Gliscor, I probably could have won this game. But um, I just was not, for some reason, I was not expecting protect. And that really threw me off, which is kind of a big deal. And uh, so I'm just now going to double attack because I mindlessly thought, okay, he doesn't have protect. What derp, he has leech seed. There's no way he has protect, right? For those of you who play VGC, uh, Ferrothorns more often than not have protect because they leech seed stall everything. And um, yeah, so that was just a dumb play on my part. I decided to go for acro because. I don't think it can set up a sub safely. And he's going to go for Gyro Ball. And this is why Sandvale is awesome, because it misses. Now, I should have set up a sub this turn. If I set up a sub this turn, I would have won the game. And because I did not set up a sub and I was just mindlessly pressing acrobatics, I am not going to be able to... I am not going to be able to... Uh, not going to be able to... You'll see. I'll explain better in a second. So he, I'm going to hit him with Acrobatics. He hit me with Gyro Ball. It's going to hit this time. But now he's going to leave me at a range where when I finish him off with Acrobatics, which I will because Acrobatic is strong enough to finish him off next turn, I'm going to die because of Iron Barb's Recoil. And in Flat Battle, self KO Claws is intact. So if I die from my attack, I technically lose. So that was the game. It was an amazing game. Uh, end up being his victory, and that was a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys, you know, same deal, uh, break, comment, sub, and hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Uh, peace out, guys. Mike Deck is out of here. Later.